I want to share this message of peace and love and compassion and empowerment with you today at this time of crisis in the world. This is a time that is going to go down in history and I want to give you a new perspective to look at this, a more empowering and loving approach and how we can all grow and expand and raise our vibration in this moment. We have the choice as a collective to choose to either have this go down in history as Armageddon or to go down in history as a major triumph for humanity. So what do you choose? Each and every single one of us have this choice because what you personally choose does affect the whole collective. You have that power. And so we can choose to let all the fears that are going on in the world to affect us, or we can go within and we can face our own fears. What is going on in the external reality is going to bring things up within you. That's the way it is. And you either have a choice to look at the fears and face the fears. You either have a choice to numb the fears or you can suppress or project them on other people. What do you choose? That is going to have the hugest impact on what happens with this whole pandemic. And so if you choose to face your fears, what's going to happen is you're going to take yourself out of that space of being in fight or flight mode where when we're in that space, we're in that sympathetic dominance, our immune system is compromised and our body can't heal. And so any viruses that are out there, whether it be the coronavirus or any other cold or flu, it's going to penetrate your body when your immune system is compromised. So if you can face your fears then you are going to help your immune system and you are going to be fighting off any of these viruses that are going around. And so you will stop the spread of the virus facing your own personal fears, okay? The other side of that is if you can face your own fears, you are not going to be projecting them on other people. Think about how suggestive the world is and how much of a hypnotic state we live in. When one person goes to the store and buys a cart full of food and toilet paper and all of the things that they've been buying, what happens? Someone else sees that and they're like, whoa, why is that person doing that? I should be scared. And it just ends up being this domino effect. Do you see what's happening? And so if you can stop that and face your own fears and live in a world of abundance, not lack or scarcity, you will stop um, projecting your fears and carrying the fears onto other people. I actually see this whole virus, not just as a coronavirus, but it is a virus of fear that is spreading. One person has a fear, they project it out into the world and other people pick it up and they spread it. The fear is the virus, not the corona. The fear is what compromises our immune system and it spreads the coronavirus. If we are all strong and healthy and empowered, that coronavirus cannot penetrate you. If you're sitting in a space of love and compassion and peace, your body is going to be sitting in the parasympathetic nervous system and our bodies are innately able to heal themselves. And so when they heal themselves, you are not going to pick up the virus. So what do you choose? Do you choose to face your fears? Do you choose to step into empowerment and stop this virus? And when you see other people who are living in the fears, it is up to you to choose to be in a loving and compassionate space and not judge and criticize them and shame and blame them for their actions. Know that they are just acting out of fears and it has absolutely nothing to do with the coronavirus. These are fears that are embedded in their physical DNA from childhood. They are, they are fears that have been created through their whole lifetime and they're just being all brought up in this moment because this is like a life or death situation for people. So what can you do instead when you see people that are in that space? One, you cannot feed into the fear. You can step into a space of love and compassion for them and you can help them through their fears. What can you do to help other people through their fears to bring them out of that? 
so that their immune system is not compromised, so that the virus does not spread. So do you see, we have a choice here. We can choose to be healthy, we can choose to be empowered, and we can choose to live in a space of love and compassion and peace, and we can stop this pandemic. And now you have the choice. Can you see this as a gift? Can you be grateful for what's actually going on in the world right now? Can you see the gift of the empowerment that it's bringing within you? Can you see it as a gift of the love and compassion that you're able to create within your heart for yourself and for humanity and see how this can actually unite us? Can you see it as a gift of really healing yourself from within to create a very, very strong immune system. So that's just a new perspective that you can look at and you have the choice. What do you want to do with this? So thank you so much for tuning into this video and I really hope that it helped to expand your mind and expand your perception of another way of looking at this pandemic and really empower you to go within and face those fears and get very, very strong within and to help those that are around you that are really having a hard time in this crisis. So thanks again, and I'm sending you so much love and compassion.